don't look at the gun. No, but the bead, when you're not used to one, gets in the way. It makes you look where you're not supposed yeah, to look. Yeah, it's twice the size of the target. Gunfit is something that every shooter talks about a lot. And it's a subject that a lot of people think is quite concrete. Go, get your measurements, these are your measurements forevermore. But over the last few years, I've come to learn that that just isn't the case. So, to exercise the concept of bad gun fit, I hooked up with Jim from Longthorn Gunmakers and we popped over to Sporting Targets to make a gun not fit us. Jim, between us we've fitted a few guns. More than one. Probably less than a thousand. It matters a great deal. And not a lot. And today, we're going to make this Longthorn Sporter not fit us. Should we fit it first? Or second. What do you think? Up to you, mate. Up to you. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll adjust it quickly. Yeah. Make it look like it fits you. Not for you, mate, because it's, it's always going to be too short for me. Okay. But I, I broke some targets. It's probably a better... I, I can't shoot. You know that. Uh, you hit one once, I saw. Oh, okay. We'll edit it, right. We'll edit it in. Okay. Right. So we'll edit it in. Edit. Okay. So as, long, as, long as, we, as long as we hit... As long as you... I, we'll film you hitting them. Yeah, we'll use the shop cam footage of me breaking them. And then I'll, I'll stand there and pretend I am. I'll just stand over there and shout, hit. With, yeah. Yeah, smoking a whiskey and yeah. drinking a cigar. It's close enough. It's close enough. And I think close enough is, is better than most people have their guns a lot of the time. It's got yes, a little more... It's, it's a, well, it is, because if we... It, it is empty, so we're going to close it and we're going to look down it. Oof. So, but if we look down it, we'll notice, even now, before we start, there's quite a lot of cast on this gun. Well, you put cast on your stocks, which is... Because it needs to be there. Because most people have faces wider than zero. I've got one of those. Mine's a, still a lockdown face. Mine is a new father face. Yeah. <laughs> so, and even though I've got a lot of cast on that gun, the yeah. combs still cast over even more. Yeah. So, yes, if you started off with a straight gun, I mean, yeah, it, it would be a long way we'd out. We'd be having to push it around. But we're going to shoot the round. I've just shot a few to warm up. I and, missed a couple. And then, and then didn't let me shoot any. It's fine. <laughs> well, well, the camera's no, out fine. now. That's fine. No, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, no. I don't need to warm up. I'm the one that's getting filmed. Right, you and, we're using these, <laughs> and we're using these holes super fast, <laughs> so I'm going to miss quickly. Hey, straight away under your feet. We should put that down to gun fit. <laughs> That's what all misses are, bad gun fit. They are. Because, now I'll tell you what was wrong with it. Okay. The stock's too high for what I'm expecting to see. Because I've been shooting with the raised rib guns. Which shoot, well, can shoot. Slightly differently. Fairly so, flat. When I mounted that gun that time, I pushed my head down on it, and then I shot in exactly the same place. I thought. You thought. See, that nasty Thing. incomer. I don't know whether I hit it with the first shot. It needs more than you think. It needs to be lower in the comb. Oh, well, should we do that now? See, I feel by taking the bead off, certainly with my sporting stock, has allowed me to have that higher sight picture guilt free. And it doesn't affect you. Eh. Well, suddenly there's no bead in the way, and I know we can argue my guns about this endlessly, that doesn't matter, but it really does to me. Well, I haven't got a bead on any of my guns. There you go, so there's your excuse. Well, I think a flat gun with a bead's quite nice, but if you have it higher, having no bead makes me feel better. I wouldn't normally shoot something running along the ground like that. I'd only shoot, apart from ram grouse. Yes. Nice break. That needed more than I thought. Yeah, well, that's why I missed it. Ah. I think actually, because you're stood up here, it's harder to gauge any sort of distance. Being that trap's probably 45 yards away. The target is probably 30 yards, 35 yards, yeah. but it doesn't look it. They don't, do they? Hey. You're looking down on them, hey? Hey. See, that one's nice and close. Well, you hit the easy ones. <laughs> Much like the pheasants you prefer. <laughs> Most of my pheasants were a bit closer than that. Okay, let's make it with too much, not enough cast on it. It's too much cast. Not enough. On. Yes. Off. Yeah. On. So we're going to move the comb right Into over Into your face way. as yeah. a right-handed shooter. Yeah. And okay. make it completely useless, but really good on one particular target. Unless you're left-handed. Yeah. 
such lovely adjustable hardware in this long oh, it is, isn't it? And it's made in England as well. By yourselves? It would be by ourselves. Wow. It says on it, Longbow made in England. And you could go further if you want, but then you'll drop the Allen key and then we go stuffed. Yeah, I mean, looking at the floor, as I've just dropped a box of cartridges through there, I, I think like they probably make a lot of money out of this stand. I would say that is probably the exact reason they do it. Well, it's probably straight now. It's probably not entirely left-handed. No. Now, that should be interesting. You can bend yourself around most guns as you develop as a shooter. You know what the sight picture you're looking for and you can push your head, and twist your nose over your hand. There's yeah, a lot of hacks. and you do it because you pick up... We do it because we pick up so many different guns. But that's good. I'm looking completely down the left-hand side of the gun. I look forward to it. All right. Uh, which target did you actually hit? The fluffy target. Well, so what you're saying is... It's got compensated leak. It's now built in for targets going that way. All right, well, what about the targets going the other way? Oh, no, it's really bad. B-Bird, no compensating. Just no, 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 I'm not going to. I'm just looking down. The, I'm trying not to fit myself to the gun. I was about a foot up the left. Yeah. All right. Oh, you told me to just look at the target. That's what I'm doing. Hit that. Yeah. Probably because you've given it too much before. <laughs> and again. You told me to aim where I should be. I mean, it's an interesting one. I mean, it's not a great takeaway here, other than to say, if your gun doesn't have enough cast, you shoot up the left-hand side of stuff. I know, and that one's got, I, I had looked as that one went off, and I was about that much in front of it. So you're doing exactly what I just Well, did. now you've adjusted it, it's also too low. So this is, a, interestingly for me, a yeah, double whammy. Yeah, you should be shooting with your left eye now. And again. Oh. I you, mean, I broke that by because you were you were cheating. But I re-zeroed to shoot it. No, you did. I yeah. put an half up the right. Yeah, but it shows you how much you were off straight away. You were a mile off to the left. Gunfit helps with the easy wins. It does. That's, that's so for you've got sure. to be. So you and I can both compensate for it. I mean, yeah. It takes a lot of effort, though. It just takes a bit of thought, doesn't it? And you just and think harder. You have a slight different hold point on your face, yes. and you just make sure it doesn't move from there, which is really inconvenient, because God gave us a little pocket to put yeah. our face on and lock it in. <laughs> just point straight at it. I mean, it's hurting my face because I'm having to push it on there so hard and it's still wrong. Yeah, well, don't. Just this time, don't, right? Now do the proper thing and aim straight at the rabbit. Boom. You're, you're shooting behind it now. You're supposed to be shooting in front of it. It just feels wrong. It looks wrong, feels wrong. Just don't give it any lead. Don't give it any lead. All right, I'm sick of this, it's horrible. <laughs> Everybody has tried a gun that has not enough cast because most manufacturers don't make guns with enough cast for a lot of people. Yep. Let's push it the other way. Oh dear. I still think we probably should have gone on the fluffy targets. Oh, that's back to front. That'll be even better. That uh, would per fit perfectly. And this all pulls back to Ed Solomon's. The day that he kicked my ass from the hip. Really good gun fit doesn't matter that much. Correct movements. Yes, that's that absolutely true. And technique. But you've got all that already. So you're now applying that technique to a gun that doesn't fit. And that's why it works. So if you're a beginner, or you're wanting to break every single target out there, which we don't seem that interested in. But I've got to see. I've got to be fair. Uh, we're still working on games, game shooting scores, aren't we? Yeah. Be yeah. Better than fifty percent. Thirty percent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when you've got to hit every single target, it matters. And not use too much brain power. And remember all the different pictures for a hundred bird layout. Yeah. Without having to map your gun, just so. Yeah. Or think about it. You're off it though, but you're hitting it, but you're off it. I mean, I naturally can't mi not want to hit it. Yeah, I know. I decide it's like, it's not fair to want to miss that target by aiming up at where, you, where I should be aiming. So I'm just faking it. You're making it work. So we'll go for, is B the B? D, let's go for D. Okay. Cool. Oh wow, that, that demonstrates it well. Okay, it's far enough away. Go on, go oh. again. So what's the correct and posh word for a head? Because that's what it is. You're going, 
Yeah, I can cheat with that one. Yeah, it's quite easy. Just hover your face somewhere in the right direction. And where it's a shotgun, like you've got a fair pattern. You don't have to be 100% on the money to hit some targets. All right, straight with B. Everyone knows you're going to hit A. B. Okay. Full. No lead. Uh, D. Yep, full. Well behind it. That's weird, isn't it? I, I, I was actually tried not to look, but you could relearn sight pictures. Probably. I had a, I had a gentleman to shoot one day, shooting pheasants, and he said, uh, "Can I borrow your gun? Have a go with your gun." And the birds are coming straight at us, and the gun, which is empty, is over here, and the birds over here, my, with my gun. And I'm looking at him, go, "What are you doing?" And I said, "Just point straight at it." He went, okay. Hit all the next six or seven pheasants. I picked up his gun and he'd, had, he'd only ever shot with a really, really left-handed gun. And so he was compensated his entire life by shooting down the side of the bird. Because once you learn the sight, but you're not, you shouldn't be concentrating that actively on the gun. From and he wasn't, he just did it naturally. <laughs> yeah, naturally, he just learnt to put the gun in completely the wrong place. Yeah, so going back to the beginning, actually, you can learn to shoot guns that don't fit you to a half decent standard, but it's not the optimal. No. Let's play with comb height. Okay. Can we put it back in the middle though? Yes, please. Okay. Not that we're a bit wussy, but this is really horrible. It's pretty demoralizing, isn't it? Yeah. Anything, but like it is to be honest. Is that what those measurements things are for? I just thought they were like a ruler. Yeah, right, are we going too high? Well, that's perfect, because I would prefer a gun that's too high than too flat in some scenarios. It's, it's the number one question when someone asks about gun fit is, what sight picture are you looking for? Because inherently, the, the logic is to make it bang flat so they're looking straight down the rib, seeing relatively little rib and a bead on the end. And that's the old school logic. But we've moved on since then. I mean, that's it might, that might grip, it might. That's better, but that's shootable. So, at this point, uh, the way I try and explain to people who've never shot with a seeing some rib is to look through an invisible tube over the top of the barrel. Like, you're not aiming with the point of your muzzle anymore. You're using a sight picture of which that is part of. Yeah. And that can really mess up your mind if you're used to using the end of your muzzle for where the gun is pointing exactly. No, instead, of, instead of this being the point, just imagine there's a point 10 mil above it. And there's a circle, because it's not <coughs> rifle, of pattern, a death. It's, um, we could have done with a nice flat crossing target for this, but should we change stance? So you've watched us waffle on for a while now. Conclusions, Jim. <clears throat> can't it anything with the really high comb? No, I can't it as many things with the really high comb. That is true. I can't as many things with the really low comb, so but I can it, manage that one easier. There's a I can lift my head off, but you can't push it down. There's a bracket in the middle. There is. Of which you can have quite a variation. Because my game gun is 15 mil lower than my sporter stock. Yeah. I reckon they are both the extremes of my acceptable tolerance. No, I think that's because you're really tall. But with you being so tall, there's obviously my more variation. Your tolerances are bigger. They've got a big head. If you were really like four foot six, you'd only be able to have 10 mil difference or something, or eight mil difference. That's, a, that's probably very true. I'll go with that. Maybe. Yeah, I've just made that up. No, no, I like that. I'm, I'm behind that theory. Because I'm bigger, like a half an inch on my sleeve wrong, doesn't look too bad. Half an inch on somebody who's ant size, yes. terrible. It, yep, exactly. I mean, it's his entire <coughs> arm. So Most of sashes. <laughs> now, there is an acceptable area where you can work with it. And then with practice and fine tuning, you can make it better. Yeah. So actually, when you think about it, Everyone should have an adjustable comb. I'm I'm not against it. I so, think I think they so are potentially less it. pretty than yep, a well fitted are, yeah. piece of wood. Yep. But you can work with it as you change the way you shoot things. Like that seabird back there, where I probably won't hit that in the next hundred shots. But with some thought and a bit of tweaking. Yeah. If we actually set it up and got you on it and yeah, but it, it, that's a nasty target. To that's a nasty. But that's target. the difference. That's where. The gun fit makes the difference. You come across a nasty target or a difficult target, long, short, whatever. Anything that's not in that mid-range becomes more difficult. I'll go with that. As the way the gun fits. I'd like to think most people can take out 
most guns within their acceptable limit who are also good shots and shoot 60% without too much effort. Yep. They could probably get to 80% relatively simply. And that final 20%, and that's not jump it won't find that, but what you need to do is be 100% present for those targets and not 50% <coughs> focused on, oh, I need I've to be, mounted the gun so, properly. Oh dear, I need to be yep. X amount underneath. It's or, the 80 20 rule, it works for most things. You can fix 80% of the problem with 20% of your time. So 20% of the time, da -da -da -da, done. Yeah. Then we'll ne spend the next 80% of the time tweaking that last little bit that makes you 20% better. I'll go with that. But you do need to have some skill level there to start with. Potentially. And I think starting, most people find it easier shooting a flatter gun to start. Because they can look down it and point at it. Yeah. Which is easy. It's an easier thing to understand. Yeah. I think we'll both agree, and the final conclusion, cast is probably the most important. devious yeah, it's thing. A, it's the most important bit. It's, if it's cast right, then you're not fighting with the centre line of the gun. Yeah, having your head round like this, yeah, is over problem. either side is kind of important. The gun is at least looking in line with where you're yeah. looking. Yeah, it is. Compensating up and down is actually unbelievably easy. Yeah, compensating left and right was a lot worse. Yeah, it took a lot more brain power to go aim just off its front edge, bang. I suppose over time you'd learn it, but <coughs> why would you? So no, put the right cast on it, and the height you can work with. Eventually. Yeah. I probably can't work with that. I've been working with height most of my adult life, mate. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> it's, not hey, so you it's, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You're always looking down on people. <laughs> yeah. I'm not arrogant. I'm just tall. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think you're right. I, I guess the whole point of this video is just to. I think I over the years have been utterly tied up with the the fine tuning and listen to people go. This is my exact spec sheet. And I've said in videos before, I have four custom fitted guns in my life. Five, technically. All of them are different. Yep. And I shoot all of them quite well. And so it depends which one you shoot the most and also which what you use it for. Bang on. It's gotta be they are quite specific. When you get down to the bit the last twenty percent, it's got to be what you use it for. Not only what it is, how you've made it, what it does, it's about what you're gonna use it for. Sporting clays like this, where they're always kind of out in front of you, and they're quite predictable. Right. Uh, you need a different gun to a game gun. Like I shot with that titanium gun with 29 inch barrels the other day on game, and it was great. Yeah. Be useless here. Not that useless. Would. I'd still be able to shoot with it, but not optimal. Suboptimal. Yes. I guess a gun fit is just about being optimal. Yeah. You can shoot anything with anything, as we. Proved the other day, I shot a Mossberg 500 with a 14 inch stock and three inches of drop. Yeah. Shot it right. You can shoot anything with anything. Because shotguns are really simple, but nice ones are really nice. And then it comes down to if you're not confident with what you're doing. Yes. So if the gun's fitted, you know it's fitted. If it's balanced nice, you know it's balanced nice. And you feel better. <clears throat> and unfortunately, 99% of shooting clays is the operator. Really? Yes. It needs a good operator. <laughs> it does help, mate. So you've got to be, the, the operator's got to be confident, like that going away target, the one that goes over the hedge somewhere, over the back well, there. Well, Which, by the time it gets, what, 75 yards away? Yeah, hey, best part of 65, 70 yards. Yeah. <clears throat> it's very breakable. You've got to be confident with that gun. But perhaps not with that set That's, <laughs> it's quite extreme, isn't it? I mean, it's basically the same height as the yeah. rib. <laughs> yeah, that's too extreme. All right, let's put it back down to where it should be. And fire our last shots. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.